I'm a filmmaker and also a big uh, patron and supporter of uh, this festival, we're at the Shuffle. The arts festival is the kind of arts and science mixed kind of festival in, the, in my land. Hey, welcome to Shuffle Festival. Hello. We're para carnival, we come from nomadic communities, East London. This is Sir James, Duke of St. Clements. We are very, very happy and privileged and privilege to have him in our company today because we do para carnival which is every year we do a monday at carnival people with special needs amazing beautiful people and we can come here to shout for a festival let everyone know what we're doing yeah. hand out our flyers yeah. let's get people up dancing get a bit of community and community involvement right yeah. that's what we're about is getting people in the community involved we make costumes we dance we have we, we make, sing no we, sing, we, make we do hats. painting sculpture Sure. Yeah. Hat making, uh, we do gardening, um, and, like and make hats, as you can see. Oh. Ow. Ow. Come, Ow. Come join us. Let's get down. Let's get down. is uh, so uh, atmospheric because got this uh, darkness but yeah. all the light will lead you to something and the movies and the people so it's a special place it's an extraordinary it's an extraordinary humbling place really where everybody the wealthy and the poor are gathered together really as, as it always happens of course and um, so there were certain monuments which are grade two listed you know very spectacular although they're all pretty much in decay you now um, and there are also these the, the parkland is, is you know covers tens of thousands of bodies of ordinary commoners who are buried together here from the 120 years of London's history up until 1966 when the cemetery was officially closed to burials was no longer and parts of it were consecrated for Anglican um, burials and parts of it were are unconsecrated for other denominations or for those without a faith um, so it's a real communal place, so it's a wonderful place to hold this kind of festival, which has no real barriers, you have to pay a bit to get into the movies or to hear the bands. But otherwise it's free and open for people to come and enjoy and just enjoy one of the hidden secrets of London, which is this um, cemetery in just off the Mile End Road, which is the most uh, extensive urban um, wood in, in London. So, um, and with many parklands, but there's nowhere quite like this. We are the coffee room and the pizza room. Uh, we sell uh, uh, our baked products. Uh, we freshly made it, make it uh, at uh, the bakery's room in Grove Road. We also have some uh, products from our pizza room uh, that are flatbread made with our special 70 hour proofed dough. Um, our uh, range of uh, sweets are partly gluten free with uh, some speciality coming from Italy directly. Uh, my name is Dizzy. So I've got to know lots of the community coming and using the park, which has been fantastic. Uh, we've got a fantastic couple from the care home around the corner that came 
keep me company while I was doing lots of DIY outside. We've got kids off the local estate coming to help paint. And then everyone taking an interest and getting involved in just what we're doing. So it's been really great. Because the massage helps your blood circulation. Show it helping show people how to build stuff. Loads of people learning new skills. So yeah, it's been really good. I'm a board member, an elected trustee for the London Community Land Trust. Legend. And I uh, was a member for about my church, which is Our Lady Church, was a founding <laughs> member of Telco, which is part of London Citizens. And then we came up with the idea to renovate the old hospital, St Clement's Hospital, which is next door to Myland Cemetery Park, just to the right of here. So I'm on the board, I'm one of the trustees for the Community Land Trust. That's what it doesn't need. Just, there's a lot of variety here. So we've got, we've just got everything. Every age group, every kind of activity. My name is Bobby's Bubbles. I'm doing a bubble show at the Marlin Cemetery. We've been going on the last uh, five years, started about 2013. And we do it each year, we've been doing it since 2013. And we started in the psychiatric hospital, which is just right here. And um, I used to live in the tower block here, um, in a Dale house. And um, I used to see, when I lived there like, a long time ago, like 30 years ago, and I used to see the psychiatric patients when the, when the hospital was still open. And they'd be shuffling around the cemetery uh, for their daily exercise. And, uh, so we call the festival shuffle and they're on. And my plight is, there's uh, too much dist destruction in the world and my plight is to make bubbles, not bombs. As John Lennon would say, give peace a chance. Uh, my name is Julie. And my name is Terry. Hi. And so we are from the Tower Hamlets Wheelers and the London Cycling Campaign. So we're promoting here in Tower Hamlets active travel and also healthier streets uh, for everyone that could include all range of users. Um, so we're here today at the festival to do different types of activities. Yeah, we're mainly interested in cycling but also supporting uh, walkers and other vulnerable road users. Uh, we're particularly concerned in Tower Hamlets because we have a serious problem with air quality in Tower Hamlets and so we want to get people out of their cars and onto bikes and walking more. So we're having a lovely time here because it's beautiful, fresh air. Lots of people are interested in getting active and uh, yeah. learning more about cycling in Tower Hamlets and in London generally. So we're here from Newham Bookshop. Um, selling books at Shuffle Festival. Uh, we bring uh, local books and anything related to the talks and films that are on. Uh, we've been supporting uh, Shuffle since it began um, and it's a really good community festival in a brilliant location. And um, what we're also providing here is um, a doctor bike workshop so people come here and learn how to fix their bikes. So we're really promoting uh, diversity in the people we want to reach out. Yeah. So Art Macabre we do life drawing but with a deathly twist so we have models posing amongst um, sometimes skulls and skeletons but today we're in a cemetery um, but the idea is that we look at ideas of death and dying through drawing and art which is very traditional but we're putting our own um, contemporary twist on it. So today at Sheffield Festival the idea is that anyone can come and draw and we've got two different deities um, that represent death. So we've got a Grecian model, Persephone, and we have, um, I'm going to say this right, Mictelakertli, who is an Aztec goddess of death. So we've got these two figures that anyone can come and sketch, and as they're sketching they can think about um, how culture and art relate to themes of death. Um, people are engaging in all different kinds of artistic activities, watching films, listening to music, um, and I think, yeah, it's lovely to animate um, spaces that are considered places of rest and places just for the dead, but actually to inject life into them um, and make the most of those. Um. Yeah. I think they've, I think doing it over the two days works really well. Um, it gives people a lot of opportunity to kind of access what's going on. I think I really like the variety of what's on offer in terms of 
There's things around food, things for children, there's music, arts, as well as film. And so I think that, that kind of broadening of, of what's on offer has made it more kind of, yeah, accessible and given it a wider appeal. Um, so it's a real communal place, so it's a wonderful place to hold this kind of festival, which has no real barriers. You have to pay a bit to get into the movies or to hear the bands. But otherwise it's free and open for people to come and enjoy and just enjoy one of the hidden secrets of London, which is this um, cemetery in just off the Mile End Road, which is the most uh, extensive urban um, wood in, in London. I really like the partnership with, with the Cemetery Park and, and with the guys that, and the community that's already here. I think we like their partnership with the, the Community Land Trust as well. And I think there's definite scope for kind of widening those community partnerships. I think it'd be great to get more kind of young people involved in kind of the, the teenage age bracket. Um, it'd be great to see, yeah, them kind of contributing. And uh, we did the first one in the, 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 the remains of the psychiatric hospital before it was transformed into luxury flats. And we campaigned for some of them to be social housing, which they duly became, which is a big success. And then we migrated the festival into the cemetery. And this cemetery is one of the wonders of London. It's one of the, the magnificent seven cemeteries of London. The most famous of one is probably Highgate. But this is an extraordinary cemetery because it is... There apparently there are more people buried here than there are alive in Tower Hamlets today. I live very close by, so they tend to show my films because they know I'll turn up and do a Q&A after them. So I'm doing a Q&A tonight after train spotting the original film. And then a, a, a Q&A tomorrow night after T2 train spotting, which is a kind of sequel, the 20 years later sequel. So that's tomorrow night. Yeah, so I'm doing those. That's my um, that's my kind of official role here. But otherwise, I'm just showing some friends around and just enjoying it. It's been lovely.